Hello, I'm back. Well, last session, um, I tried to improve uh, the collision detection um, in the Starblind, my ZX Spectrum game, um, but um, <clears throat> it was not very successful, basically. Uh, I think the main problem with this project is that um, I started working on it some time ago then I've been working on different projects and um, I usually I tend to forget how it works <laughs> especially um, the different coordinate system um, and that's why uh, that's why uh, during the last session I tried to repurpose um, the map uh, data to um, improve the collision detection and it didn't work because uh, <clears throat> the map data is um, currently 16 per 16 pixels um, uh, let's see and see it looks it says 32 or 20 that's in map coordinates but that's not true, it's because it's 16 by 16, but the entities move 8 per 8 pixels. So when I tried to repurpose that, basically it, it didn't work because of that. Um, because the entities move, I mean it was working, um, drawing the entities and moving the entities 16 by 16, but we want them to move 8 per 8 pixels, so that didn't work really. Um, I mean, we could be converting the map to... Um, to be 16 sorry 8 per 8 when we load the map but uh, that would be you know that would waste a lot of memory because that would be um it's currently 32 per 20 so if we want that's 16 per 16 and we want to do 8 per 8 it will be four times that right so instead what i'm going to do well, what I did already. So I was planning to do this um, in, a, in, a, in a session, but I got another cold <laughs> for m one weekend, most of the previous one, uh, you know, with a lot of snot and uh, my voice was really, really bad. So I, I've i been working on different projects, um, different to this one. And, uh, and finally I did the bitmap already, but <clears throat> I can explain a little bit what I did today and then my 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 idea for today is to make the bullets more efficient because this was um, trying to solve two different things uh, so one of them was that uh, the enemies don't see each other uh, because and it will be too expensive to do it um, because um, because basically the way I do collision detection between entities is with the bonding box so uh, I use four points so there's a box and then I check if those boxes overlap um, and that's usually okay uh, when you're working on a flick screen uh, game because the number of entities you're going to have in one screen is going to be small right but in this case um, you know, it's a, the map area. Map area is larger uh, because there is a scroll. So here, as you can see, I mean, I we we going well, for now. I'm saying 32, but it could be more than that. And so it's quite expensive if each entity before moving has to check with other with the other 31 entities. Um, so that's out of question. That's not a good thing to do in this uh, game. Um, and also, it also affects, for example, the the bullets in this case because every time the player fires, the bullet entity has to check with the other entities that are enemies. Uh, see, with this macro here, um, every time it moves, and it's not very efficient. So instead, well, I, I wanted to fix those two things. First of all, uh, that the entities don't overlap. Um, so in this case, uh, let's take a look. This is the, the old code. Um, this is the old code before the fix. So we can see 
together before, but pop up. Right, so you can look at here, see those, I mean, the slimes are already overlapping. And because they have a fixed pa uh, move pattern, it's not too bad. But when you get in here, and uh, you have these aliens that move, this move freely, uh, and they struck you, you may end with uh, two aliens uh, overlapping, or even more. It just kind of breaks the gameplay because it means that you have an alien that <clears throat> that can, uh, you know, it's, in reality, it looks like one alien that can, you know, you need to hit several times to kill him. Um, and also, yeah, it breaks the game in several ways. So I want them to not overlap. And for that, they need to see each other. So one alien is not going to step over uh, another alien or, you know, all all types of entities, although in this case I think it's only important for enemies. So going back to this uh, here, uh, yeah I mean doing it, the map is out of question, but what I did is to make a, I implemented a bitmap, uh, so uh, let's get the latest version, if I can type. So Right, so instead of doing that, I'm going to do a bitmap. So instead of having one byte per tile, I'm going to use one bit, which is, you know, way more efficient. Uh, although accessing to the right byte, sorry, to the right bit is going to be a little bit more work, uh, but it will be okay. So basically the code looks like this. Um, so um so I have here put enemy block erase enemy block that in reality could call a different one that I call real that is local here it be, it's because um it's more efficient to call one function and then that function can call to others right so it really yeah, because different en entities, are, different enemies are going to call this. I'd rather have just one function, and then I can wrap the others just for simplicity. I mean, this is currently C code. It's not very efficient because the way we calculate uh, which byte and then which bit on that byte is for that location is n not, you know, it's quite. It's not expensive, but. I don't really, I didn't look what is the code that the C compiler is generating, but I'm sure I can improve that by hand. But I will look, I, I will look at that later. For now, I think this is just fine. So basically, I provide one point, which is the top left corner, you know, what is the location of the enemy. And this is going to put, it's going to set four bits, which is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, which is... 16 per 16 instead of, of just one tile of 8 per 8. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so basically the enemy, uh, when it updates, the first thing it's going to do is to erase uh, the, the block where it is currently standing. And when it draws, it will put that back. So at the end of the update cycle, um, in the bitmap, you always have four bits saying that those four tiles are um, are basically with an enemy, so a different enemy won't step over. And for that, we have the S enemy is enemy block X and Y. But remember that we have two functions to check because when we move in the X axis, we have to check X Y and then X Y plus one and and when we would uh, in the y-axis, then we need to check double the the the, uh, the horizontal, so x and x plus one. So that's why it's the same thing. And to simplify, um, because we need to also check if the map is blocked. Uh, this one is calling this the map is blocked, and then doing the the, the check by getting the bits. And the bits basically what it does is if I have an array. Uh, of the size we just look and um, and then basically I get uh, so this 
because x and y is already in the 8 per 8 pixels coordinate system and not the map coordinate system which this this was really easy to implement but it took me it took me a little bit longer than i was expecting just because i don't remember about the different coordinate systems and i keep mixing them uh, but anyway so i move i Multiplying by two uh, the map width because the map is 16 by 16 and this is 8 by 8 and then the result is divided by 8 and um, That gives me the byte that has that location and then to know which bit I basically do an and with 7 uh, That gives me the reminder and it's actually the bit inside that byte It's quite simple in reality, but It's more I guess it's more it's harder to explain than everything right so this code um, this this is the version with with the fix so we can see already that these entities here they are not touching each other so that's that's better and now here I put more aliens uh, so there's you it's easier to see the effect but basically um, well, that they don't step over each other, right? I mean, you can kill them exactly the same. And basically, well, let's see. Right. See, they they don't step over the, the location of where there is an alien already. So if we look at the alien code, uh, well, let's look at the slime because the slime is simpler But it's the same idea So the slime The, the slime is simpler because it has only one one update uh, function, right? Uh, remember, I mean it would remember I mean you probably uh, There is a chance that you watch the session where I made the aliens smarter so the aliens have two different update functions depending on what are you doing at the moment? Are you tracking the user, or uh, sorry, the user, the the player, or if you're just moving, it's moving on a fixed pattern. But the slimes, they only move in a fixed pattern, so they only have one update function. Um, so the first thing it does is erase the enemy block, which is basically putting those bits to zero. And at the end, we draw the slime, and the slime, when it's finished, it puts the bits back. Now when the uh the bullet here uh blah, 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 here bullets versus enemies when it kills the enemy it also you know has to remove the bits uh of the enemy so it doesn't stay blocked after the enemy is being killed but as you can see here uh bullets versus enemies what it does at the moment is it goes through uh, the list of entities and it checks the one that are enemies and then runs this function that is quite expensive and I already made it as wrote in assembler by hand um, so this is what I want to improve today so let's make these bullets more efficient because now we have a function that can tell us if the map, is, the map is blocked or if we hit an enemy so this is going to change what a little bit hmm. and again I didn't plan anything whatsoever so I have a vague idea what I want to do so let's see if I manage I can manage to do this and it works in a reasonable amount of time so so let's go to uh is my block right so this is currently what we do this returns zero if it's not blocked and one if it's blocked right and if we use is enemy blocked we can just return one here And this here is the or of the bits that we're going to get there. So uh, 
we can do something like, for example, like this. And now we have three values. We'll return zero. Yeah, because if we're looking for two bits, it's never going to be all the bits on 255, right? So we have three start three state return here. Zero is free. Uh, 255 is blocked by a wall, for example, or a door or whatever. And anything else is just that we hit at, at an enemy. So this is not changing the behavior of the enemies at all because they expect zero or different than zero. And if we go back to the bullets, go um now so let's take a look at the code of the bullet which is simple i hope right so the bullet um, yeah this is when we create the bullet and it's basically checking that we don't create the bullet over a wall um, we're going to keep this yeah because it will be useful to be able to kill an alien if it's just uh too close to us I think we, I'm, I'm going to leave it like that for now. Uh, yeah, but this is just to not make the explosion inside the wall. It didn't look nice, so I thought uh, we can check that. And we draw the bullet, and the bullet check is actually checking with the. Uh, so this, are we going to keep it? Because the basic idea now is that we're going to check when we move the bullet. And. If we detect that what is blocking our way is uh, an enemy, then we can run this because this is going to find the right enemy and destroy it. But the difference is that every time we move the bullet, we're going just to check that bitmap we have instead of going through all the entities. And we only go through the entities when uh, we need to destroy the alien. Um, yeah, because I thought, well, what if we, yeah, I mean, enhancing the, the, the map to be 8 per 8 and including then, for example, in a way, I guess, how can we find the exact entity without doing this? I think that's definitely too expensive, so a lot of memory and that's not be benefit. This is going to be very quick because we're going to run it only when we know we hit an, an, an enemy, so... It actually exits when we hit one enemy. So this is perfect. Now, how do we change this? So this is actually checking, it's testing the, if the map is blocked. Um, and now, um, it's not, it's going to be the enemy, right? And also, we probably need to get the output of this. Okay, so, well, you can see I have a different IT, 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 uh, because it's part of a iterator. So this is a, when we're uh, running through the different entities. So there are some values that are defined. Um, because uh, local variables, in C, they allocate the space in the stack. You want to have global variables because it's faster. Um, because allocating the stuff in the in the space in the stack will take more time. So I have a variable that is called K uh, that is available globally, and as long and it's only be it's only in use inside of the when we are iterating. Well, it's a global variable, but basically it's just for me to remember that I don't have to use it. Uh, so it's, you can use it more than one place because at the same time, for example, if I'm using it here and then I call this function here, this function shouldn't be using that, that, that variable. It's only in this scope, but it's still available and it's faster. So, so basically, uh, I'm going to use a variable. Um, so I just just to explain you why I'm using a global variable here. It's because well, it's performance. So, um, you know, if we can go forward, then 
we can do this. Uh, right, so the default here is to destroy the, to explode after checking bullet versus enemies and bullet versus enemies. What it does is just collects the, you know, just destroys the entity that you hit. If you don't destroy anything, the animation is going to be the same because you hit a wall, for example. Now, the only difference here is if we don't hit anything, remember that was zero, it's not blocked, then we perform, yeah, we do the movement. Um, otherwise, if k is not this, then we know it's an enemy. We have to destroy it. Is that correct? New, no, new. No, that's not correct. Um. What? So how this is working? So, oh yeah, because bullet versus enemies. It's actually enabling the explosion. It's explosion. So it's not. It doesn't get in here. This is only when it's when it's blocked. Right. So I guess what we're looking at here is if K is not. Is that right? Yeah. So I don't know what I said in the previous one, but we can just go there and take a look. Uh, oh, this map no, this enemy blocked. Is that one? Yeah. So this map, if the map is blocked, then it's FF. So if it's not FF, which is 255, then we going to explode. <laughs> um, otherwise, we move, right? And uh, we move, and if K. is different than zero then we check for the enemy because we know there is an enemy is that correct yes so we know that wall it will be 255 so if it's 255 we explode if it's 255 sorry if it's not 200 if it's not 255 then we move and if the K, if K was uh, touching the enemy, it really doesn't matter if we move or not. Like, does it really matter? Let's, let's think for a second. Yeah, we can leave it like that. It really doesn't matter because um, we move or not we're touching already the enemy so this is just going to get a little bit over it and then if k is not zero it means that it's not free space and we find the actual enemy and we destroy it so i guess we need to do the same here so let's only change this. Uh, so is no, oh, sorry, I did this wrong. It was this one. Enemy blocked. Enemy blocked. And then this is going to be the global variable that we have here. And then if K is like that. Uh, 
uh, it's not actually K. See, that's one thing I have noticed. I'm actually way worse priming when I'm explaining what I'm doing. It's like the voice, the voices in my head makes things a little bit harder. Because why am I going to use K? I mean, it's not K. It's the mm. right. So this correct is correct. And we do have this one into the IDK. Right, and then I'll read that again. So it's okay, it's correct, blah blah blah. Yeah, it's correct, I it's okay, yeah. So, and it's going to be the same for all of them. Yeah. Looks okay to me. Compiles, yes. And it runs. So now, the bullet is more efficient. So that works exactly the same. Yeah, we're hitting walls. Uh, look at that. I need to think about that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a different type of entity. It's not that any... And it, should it shouldn't destroy it anyway, so... Right. Can we destroy enemies? Yes, we can. Of course we can. Let's try something. Let's so destroy that one. Yeah, it did clean the, the read map. Right. So that works. And here we have a lot of enemies. Ooh, I failed. I hope if I failed. I failed again. Huh. That was interesting. It may not be working currently. Let's try again. Well, I mean, my code is almost over, but it's still a little bit not quite All right. Okay, so there must be something going on here. Why is not killing this guy that is... Alright. Hmm. Maybe. There is a problem with that code. What was that guy doing over there? Right, so if we are too close to the enemy, it's not killing it. So I think... But that was a bug we had before, isn't it? So yeah, that was a bug we had before. Was it? Maybe not, because maybe in here we hit him already. So. Hmm. All right, so how can we change this? Um, well, just like that. So we know it's touching already. Yeah, because I guess. I guess if we move already when we check bullet bullet versus enemies it's going to run this code and then we move already X and Y or and Y so that could mean that we are let's 
see that's funny because when we try here ah, that was that was the way it should be All right <laughs> wait for it come on all right yeah that's right yeah now now it works the way it should so the collision detection is not having problems now mm, that was a good one see oh the enemy hit the bullet do we like that what well, that was weird wait a second let's try to repeat that so the enemy hit the bullet ah man why is that no okay so there is a problem in there oh no it's a problem Maybe it was an effect with the... No, there's something going on here. I'm not sure what it is, but... Uh... But that was already there. We haven't changed anything in the moment, right? Wait a second. What's going on? Huh. Well, that was probably a bug. That was already oh see we kill an alien out of camera it's cool so we hear that sometimes I had the feeling that but it's not happening now I think it's related to the aliens so let's try that again <laughs> yeah there, there was something funny in there Take a look to this. So let's take a look at this one. It's an enemy blocked. Why? If it's FF is the wall. So you we get get out. Okay, we never delay. Sound expression and it starts with the animation. Otherwise, if K ITK is not zero, which means that there's at least one bit here set, right? Then we go bullet versus enemies. Otherwise, we move. The code we had before. Oh no, this one. What it was doing is let's close this one because I don't have space to see. So the code we had before. Hmm, what it was doing if if it's not blocked, then we move and check for the enemy. But now we know we're touching the enemy already. That's why we don't move. We just go and check bullet versus enemies. Bullet versus enemies is going to check all of them. Is this doing anything funny with no, no. It's going to check. <clears throat> All of them we will check and then if it finds that then it's going to set the position of the bullet to the entity location then start exploding make the noise we start the process of destroying 
and then here we can do this because it's fine and it's going to be a little bit more efficient than that and it is not used we set it to be collected in the same three entities and we return and that is going to return it's not going to go here it looks good to me so why is doing that funny business well it could be there is a bug in the bitmap code that could explain it see there is an issue here why <laughs> sorry why it's why it happens when i move when i change the camera let's go here no it's not it's not related to what is that so when i no wait <laughs> no it's fine that's how that's how it works it's because um yeah right so that is because the bullet has no 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 there's something going on see that bullet was stopped in midair That's something funny going on with the bullets. But I may not be related. So basically the the bullets have they have some time. So basically they last for sixteen frames here. When they get to sixteen frames they are destroyed so basically the bullet can't really cross the, the, the complete screen so for example it's not going to get to the door okay. now why why is stop with the aliens see that's not 16 frames e yeah okay so there is a bug in the code that is actually checking for the bitmap because it's it thinks that is checking one of these is is hitting one of the enemies and that's why it stops in increasing this And then this time here I just see in the entity. We know that if we get here, it's going to find that, right? So we can put because we hit in the enemy. So um oh, what's our call this? Uh, let's change the border. Set border. And we would say to blue. Right, so this should never happen, right? Because if we get here, it's because we know we hit an, in, uh, an entity. An enemy. Because we know that we got that. So, if we get the border, and it's going to happen. I mean, I think that's definitely a bug in there. Yeah, see? So, this here should never happen. And if it's happening, it's because uh, we're moving X and we're going right. So let's look at this one. It's because this one, this is not returning zero. And if this is not returning zero, 
is because this is not returning zero. So this must be wrong. Hmm. Oh shit, I know what it is. <laughs> this is wrong. Right. So <laughs> so okay, so this gives me gives me um this gives me the byte in the yeah, this gives me the byte in the bitmap. Which is not true. It's dividing by eight. But then if I get the reminder of the division, it's going to be always zero. So this is not what this is not right. So this should be here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh no, on the back. I can't believe it. So it's going to be something like this. Well, assuming that now everything works because. If the bitmap has issues, then nothing may work now. Those aliens are not touching each other, right? Okay, so they're not touching each other. And here, is still getting the blue, so it's not fixed. Mm, damn it! This is wrong, and this is wrong because this is not fitting into a bit. Uh, no, that's not what I want to do. I want a Python shell here. So let's say that is 30 per 22, no, sorry, 13 plus 22 per, sorry, uh, 20, it was 20, it was 20, yeah, 20 per 32. Yeah, that's not going to fit. So it has to be a 16 bit. So let's see, let's get it fixed with 16 bit, which is going to be bad because the performance of that is probably not what we want, but we can do that. And then, yeah, but I, we need that because otherwise we can get the reminder. I see. So they're still doing the right thing. Yeah. And this is working properly now. Right. Now that, let's go here. Oh, look at that. So, <laughs> just touching the bit, but it's not. Uh, I know what it is. Well, that's basically how you debug things, changing the border of the screen. Yeah, because if we could be using the, the debugger, but it's in assembler, so you will get some assembler that it's not really matching the C code you see here. Right, so it looks like we need to get over that after all, because I was wrong. It's enemy blocked, it's checking the next position, right? So we need to move into that position. So bullet versus enemies actually checks that we are hitting the entity. So this actually has to be the way it was. I definitely need to move before that. So that conclusion I got was wrong. And now this should be how it works. Why is this 
Let's take a look at the beef. Ooh. Oh, because I beef is over there. All right. Yes, exactly. Right, so that looks right, right. So, right, so let's run a quick test because I think this is going to be finished and we're going to stop here. Right, they're not touching each other. We like that. Yeah, that is working properly, or at least the issue we had before is not reproducing, it's not happening now. So let's go here, let's kill some slime, and it's killing it properly. We shouldn't see the blue stuff. Ooh, yeah, because now we are too close, it's going to go over it. Hmm, I need to think about that one. Yeah, if I'm too close to the enemy, it's going to fail. And people are not going to like that. Okay, other than that, it seems to work. And I haven't seen if the enemies actually step up each other or not. Or they do funny things. And they don't look like they're doing funny things. Do they? No, they're doing the right stuff. Moving just fine, not stepping over each other. Well, it looks like this is fixed, right? So let's take a look. So, no, oh, no, actually, I don't want to change that. I want to do something here because this is going to be only debug is enabled. So so when I do the release, I don't have to remove that. Yeah, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> okay, I'm completely sure um, that this is fine. So right, so we did. Yeah, this optimization, I like that. So, the deal is correct. Yeah. This is fine. And this fix. And this stuff. I think I kind of like the idea of. I kind of like the idea of of splitting the fix for the comment ah, no it's not the other word but okay so so I stage this one I stage this one I stage this one and this part of different change. Right, so this is the fix. So this is fix in um, enemy block bitmap. Right, and now in here we come with this as. Yeah, so um, right, so that should be it. Um, and it's done. Let's take another one last look at this. Okay, it's okay. I think it's when we are touching already. Because I was pretty close to that one. Yeah, 
this way because they are really close. Yeah. <laughs> I see. So basically, steps over me when the the alien is already hitting me. I think. Hmm. Yeah. So that's the behavior that probably the player are going to understand. I think. So yeah, I will fix that. Anyway. So I think this is probably enough for today. Um, good session. Some bugs, we fix them. Definitely better than the previous one where I spent a lot of time just to get the cushion that it was a silly idea and it was not going to work. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy. Um, so what is next? Um, yeah, I probably should improve that collision when you are too close to the aliens uh, because otherwise it looks feels a little bit unfair isn't it because you think you're going to hit the alien but you don't then the bullet goes through and then you get hit so I probably want to fix that um, um, besides that I think uh, yeah I still need to improve how the terminals work or how they look like uh, I haven't touched that code since the session that I implemented that and I think I need to start thinking on finishing the engine uh, so I can actually start making the game um, this is this one is taking a little bit too long I think um, maybe because of these sessions I, I'm not sure but um, I don't want it to get cold and get lost in details and implementing the small things and feature creep and all of the stuff and never get the game finished or released so instead of that i think i'm going to move forward and do a few things that i need uh, for the game to to be complete feature complete the engine so i can work on the levels and story all the stuff and probably add more enemies isn't it that would be interesting too um so yeah that's probably the plan for the next one um so thank you for watching um i will try to now that i don't have a cold and i can talk and I, you know my nose is not leaking constantly um I, I will try to make this more frequent um I'm working on, a, on different other projects, probably too many projects. I'm spreading myself a little bit too thin, um, but it's okay, I guess, as long as I keep finishing things. Um, so, yeah, see you next time. Remember, if you like it, you can thumbs up. Not that really matters, to be honest, but <laughs> it's always nice to see that people uh, is watching the videos and, and, and liking them. And remember, if you are not um, subscribe you can subscribe uh, so you don't miss the next one so that's all for today see you next time bye